Daddy Man. Hey there, Kitchen Mutants. It is Friday night. I am your favorite Daddy Man in the kitchen, and that can only mean one thing. That's right, it is time once again for Mutant Cafe. Thank you guys so much for joining us again this week. It is the second week of our Friday night TV dinner series, and things are rolling along very well. Today, we are doing a classic fried bologna sandwich, and if that wasn't enough, we are topping it off with an unbelievably tasty homemade Doritos. They don't taste exactly like Doritos, but trust me, you are not going to want the things in a bag ever again after you try these. They are so simple and easy. So we've got a lot to do, so let's get to the ingredients as we always start. You're going to need 10 ounces of corn tortillas. I'm using the small ones. They're just going to save you from doing a little extra cutting. You could definitely use the large ones if that's what you have. I also use flour tortillas. They work well. We'll talk about that later. Four tablespoons of olive oil. Four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Two teaspoons, excuse me, I'm going to turn this down, of chili powder. Two teaspoons of uh, smoked paprika. Two teaspoons of cumin and a half a teaspoon of coarse kosher salt if you have it. You can use table salt as well, not a big deal. Um, you're also gonna need two tablespoons of brown mustard, one tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of dill pickles, diced up really nice and fine, and then put in with that another tablespoon of the pickle juice. You're going to need some fresh cracked brown, or black pepper, excuse me, eight ounces of bologna, and you want this kind of thin. You can almost see through that bologna, and that's gonna crisp it up really fast. That's about 10 to 12 pieces. Um, you're gonna need four pieces of rye bread. You're going to need some lettuce. I'm using arugula, which is a nice peppery lettuce. And then you're also going to need four tablespoons of butter. We're gonna use two and two on that, okay? So we're doing two different things. We're gonna start with the Doritos. Get your oven on 350 degrees preheated, and you're going to, let's get some of the stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna put all the stuff for the bologna sandwich out of the way, okay? First things first, we're gonna take that Parmesan cheese and the chili powder, the paprika, the cumin and the salt are all gonna go into a Ziploc bag. We'll grab a spoon here, just so I'm not messy. When have I ever not been messy? <laughs> Trying to be a little neater as I cook. Especially when we're not live. Take your time a little bit. All right, so we got most of that in there. Now let's just kind of scoop the rest of that into that Ziploc baggie. It's a quart baggie, you could go a little bigger. I'm gonna probably do it uh, two at a time. Just get all that in the baggie. Trying not to make a giant mess. Okay, then we'll use the spoon later. So let's put that there. And of course I still got some on the table, because I'm messy. All right, so seal that up. Okay, and get it nice and mix together. This is your seasoning for your Doritos. Okay, nice and mixed up. So let's put that aside. Take a cutting board. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your olive oil and a brush, and you're gonna take your tortillas and basically just get them nice and covered with this olive oil. Now on this bottom one, Let's see what we're gonna do. You get it extra covered, so it's a little wet, wetter than you would think, because those tortillas are gonna soak it in, and you wanna make sure you're getting both sides, okay? You don't have to go quite as much on the second side, because you're gonna put another one down 
that has the olive oil on it, so you know it's gonna drip down. Look at these, just nice and coated. The more coated you get the uh, the tortillas, the more that um, yummy seasoning mix is gonna stick while they bake. These are baked, they're not fried, so we're already one step ahead of that stuff in the bag. They're a little healthier. Again, you're not getting funky chemicals. We are doing the Friday night TV dinners, and I am trying to do my best to make those delicious childhood favorites slightly healthier. I mean, let's be frank, beef bologna is not the healthiest of lunch meats you could be eating, but you know, we're doing every little bit that we can. And Doritos are not gonna have those funky chemicals in them that you don't have a clue what they are. Mono, Saba, Booba, whatever. None of that in our Doritos, okay? Of course, tortillas are amazing. We have a local, we have several local companies here in Chicago that make corn tortillas. These are Chicago made, yum. A lot of times you go to a restaurant, you can even get homemade tortillas to go. That would be fantastic with this. If you're gonna get those super fresh ones that were just made, I let them sit out for a day or two, just to stiffen up a little. If they're super soft, they're gonna take longer to crisp up in the oven. Okay. Nice and coated. And you're not gonna use all this olive oil, or you might. Rather have a little too much than not enough, right? One more tortilla. Time consuming, not hard. Neither of these recipes today are hard at all. Difficult, super easy. Okay, a couple more here. It's gonna make a lot. Um, we're gonna, like I said, double, double go at that bag. We're gonna do a half and half, but it does make a lot. Nothing wrong with that. No such thing as extra Doritos, right? They will get eaten up. And you know, if you have extras of these, Doritos that you just don't eat and you don't want to keep around, we've talked about it before, if you're going to make those Szechuan peppercorn uh, potato chip coated chicken strips that we did, who back in March, man, that feels like forever ago. Back in March, you could just take these Doritos up, get them in a baggie, crush them up, Put all your old chips, all your old crackers, all your old pretzels, anything like that in that bag. Keep crushing it up and you got a delicious coating for homemade chicken fingers, chicken strips. All right, so that is done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take up our big knife and cut all the way down through that. It should cut pretty easily. And then you're gonna take each half and cut it into four to six pieces. You know what a Dorito looks like. You know about how big it should be. Really, you can cut it however you want. You could even make fun Dorito strips if you wanted to. Okay, so there's half. Let's get half in the bag now. And they don't have to be perfectly uniform. You know Doritos are not. These are gonna be much more uniform than what you get in the bag, that's for sure. So you're going to seal this up nice and tight so it doesn't come flying out. And then you're just going to start mixing it up, pressing with your fingers to get some of that coating onto them and to also kind of, you know, separate the tortillas. There we go. And then, trust me, a thought has come to mind, now that you've got this technique down, I definitely want to dive in and see if I can do maybe some cool ranch Doritos. All you gotta do is change up the seasonings. This procedure is gonna be the exact same. All right, get this out of the way here. We're gonna get a baking sheet that has been either sprayed with a non-stick cooking spray or I use a Silpat mat. A Silpat mat is silicone based, I believe, and it um, keeps everything from sticking on your tray. It's reusable, a little expensive, 
but they're super nice. They make everything extra crispy, which is great. All right, just kind of give these a little shake, get that excess off. See how that is? Look at that, yummy, nice and coated. You don't really want them overlapping, as minimal as possible. Okay, if you get some in here that don't look like they're covered well, go ahead and throw them back in. So you're gonna need two baking sheets for this. I'm only gonna do half right now. You're obviously just gonna repeat the process for the second half. Or you could even hold off if you only have the one baking sheet and bake the ones. They bake very quickly, 10 to 15 minutes, and then you could do the second one after. Yum, it smells so good. Smell that parm cheese, which is delicious. Who doesn't like parm cheese? Couple more. And again, a little overlap, not gonna hurt it. Okay. Get this in that oven again, 350 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna set it for 10 and we'll check it out and then we'll Oops. <laughs> there we go. All right. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut the second half and get them in the baggie. I mean, that second batch is ready to go when those come out. Okay. In that Ziploc. How easy is that? I mean, when you tell someone you make a Doritos, you kind of assume it's going to be a hard process. It's really not. Junk food is rarely hard. Why it's so good. Let's <laughs> get this out of the way. Part of the reason it's so good. So good because it's usually not good for you, but we're working on that, right? Okay, get some of this mess up. And we are ready to start on our sandwiches. You know how easy that is? We're halfway done already. Okay. Just get these mixed up while we're waiting here. Nice and sealed, mix them on up. And as you can see, there's plenty left for the second batch. Yum, yum, yum. All right, there's your second batch of your Okay, we'll put this aside for now. Let's get to the sandwich. We need my board again. So we got a cast iron skillet. You can definitely use a non-stick Teflon pan if you have it, or a pan, um, you know, whatever your favorite frying pan is. This knife, we're gonna put about two tablespoons of butter in that nice and hot pan. We're gonna take our bologna, the whole entire stack. And what you're gonna do is you wanna put four cuts in it at the northeast, south, and west. Not all the way to the center, just about two inches in, inch and a half in, okay? Let me show you here. All right, just like that. And the reason we're doing that is because when you start to fry this, they'll start coming up in the center and curling a little bit, and then you got a bunch of spots on the bologna that aren't exactly fried up. So this is preventing that from happening. Okay, we got our butter nice and melted. Yum. All right, we're gonna stick the first maybe four to six pieces in the pan. Super easy. This is not a hard recipe today. I'm trying to keep these recipes simple, but delicious and super fun. And remind you of all those great TV dinners you used to have, lunches, that mom used to make that you loved. Yeah, we're gonna go about four a piece here. And maybe one more. Yeah, he's over. Boop, boop. Yum. All right, so why that fries up? And that should be on medium. Mm, that's good bologna. Go to your deli counter. You can definitely use your Oscar Mayer, but do yourself a favor, go to the deli counter. You can get it cut how you want, which is nice, the thickness that you want. And also, generally a little better quality, in my opinion. All right, 
grab a knife. We're gonna put together the sauce for this sandwich, which is basically your brown mustard, Your mayo. Oh. And your pickles, including the juice. And then a nice healthy pinch of pepper. And that's going to be reinforced with the arugula, so you can go a little lighter on the pepper if you're using arugula. Okay, and we're just going to mix that up, and that is your brown mustard sauce. I told you, every single step, there's several steps this week, but every step is so easy. Here you go. It's a nice, loose sauce that's going to go on your bread. Okay. Ta-da. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. All of this is so easy. Y'all can do this. This is my number one goal is to teach you guys y'all can do this. And let's give us a flip. Get nice and browned up. Don't worry if some of those quad pieces kind of come off. No big deal. You're not going to notice it when it's between the bread. That is definitely frying up nicely. Mm. And now that it's shrinking up just a touch, you can go ahead and get some more pieces in there if you want. Got those nice crispy ends. Yum. Doritos smell so good already. Put a piece in there. Again, don't panic about these. My mom used to love a good fried bologna sandwich. That was her go-to. Definitely remember this as a kid. One more in there. Many a times, bologna is inexpensive. And this whole dish is super inexpensive. There's nothing going on here that's cost them a lot. Few ingredients, delicious taste. It's Friday Night Frights again tonight, in case you forgot. Like, how could you forget? We got an exciting night planned again. You're watching right now, me, obviously. Started at seven o'clock. We've also got following up. You're gonna jump over to the monster movie happy hour crew and they've got a cocktail for you on their youtube page or channel at 7 45 always a delicious thing going on there and then at eight o'clock with mutant theater which is mutant theater 2 on twitter we are going to do the first of our double feature horror film uh combo going on. The first movie starts at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and then at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, we've got the second Friday Night Frights double feature film, and we're always trying to give these films a little theme this season, season two. So see if you can figure out what the theme is with the two movies. This week, I think, is a little apparent. Um, keep, keep spinning these. Don't let anything burn. Flipping them over. And then at midnight, we have the Midnight Marathon Mystery with MutantFam.com. Frank has it set up with that system. He's already posted a link several times today. I'm sure he will post a link right now. Make sure you jump over on that system, which is awesome. I think it's called Kusumi, I believe I want to say. Um, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but that is a great system put up by YouTube. And Frank gets to act like a... BJ, or he is a BJ, and he gets to just go with the mood of the crowd and play commercials and cartoons and edit a main feature film and maybe some film reviews. Anything that is accessible through uh, YouTube, I believe, he's throwing in there and mixing up like a DJ. It was super fun last week. We stayed up so late and we watched some great, great films. So I'm sure he's got a lot of things planned for us again tonight. So that's your whole night's worth of entertainment. 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, all the way until 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, however long Frank can go. So, all kinds of entertainment coming out of the Friday Night Frights for you. And we are happy to be the start and to give you the food that you need. All right, we got this fried bologna. Look how delicious. Nice and greasy. <laughs> Did I say this was healthy? I didn't say it was healthy. I said 
our versions were healthier. Never gonna say healthy with these meals. Okay, get some more bologna in there. So crispy and crunchy, love it. Sort of like bacon, sort of like a prosciutto. I guess you would call this the American prosciutto, the fried bologna. <laughs> the American pancetta. Gianna ever heard me say that, she would freak. Love it. Okay, yeah, we can get this last one in here. The other nice thing about these little slits is it kind of helps you fit more in the pan. This one's going in my mouth. So good. Keep it out. Frying the bologna. All right, we're also we're going to toast up our bread next. Get that bologna. So good. This is beef bologna, by the way. You can't get pork bologna. <clears throat> the beef bologna is good for this one. Smell those Doritos, they smell good and they're getting close. Last couple pieces. Now this is gonna make two. So if you're making a dinner for four, if you got a family for four or friends coming over, make sure you double all this up. It's an easy recipe to double, triple, quadruple. A lot of times recipes are kind of hard to do that, but this one's easy. Now it's like our Doritos are done. Let's go check them. They might need a couple more minutes. Don't get too excited yet. Grab my pot over here. Let's get these a check. Hello? Yeah, we're gonna go just a couple more minutes on that. You want them nice and crispy, so let's go uh, four more minutes, just to be safe. Okay, there we go. Couple more bologna fries. Now what you can do, and what I'm gonna do, get a paper towel. We're just gonna pull a little bit of that grease out of there. Hey, by all means, leave it in there. The bread will soak it up. I'm going just a touch dab in it. There we go. Yeah, just getting a little off. Doesn't hurt. In fact, every little bit helps, right? All right. Bologna is looking yummy. Smelling good. Also a good one because you only have to have the oven on you know what 20 minutes at the most so this is good for in the summer you don't want to have that oven on too long you're not baking we're not making shepherd's pie and things like that in the summer this is a little lighter nice sandwich in the summer okay almost done last couple pieces all right so you got your four pieces of bread the nice rye. Love the mm, smell of rye. I get the rye without the big seeds in it. I hate biting into a big old <clears throat> seed of rye, but you can still smell the delicious ground up rye in that bread when they made it. Okay, right, we're good. Pull this out. Nice and fried up and crispy. Nice crispy edges. Again, we're gonna pat those just a little bit to pull off a little bit of that grease. Because bologna is greasy. My bologna has a first name, G-R-E-A-S-E. <laughs> All right, cool, and we got that. Now we're gonna take each of these bread pieces and just stick them right in that grease. Speaking of the grease. <laughs> And I'm going to just do two and two. <clears throat> That's how big your pan is. You can maybe get all four in there, but I'm going to not overcrowd it.
this down for when those Doritos come out, which is very soon. Man, it smells so cheesy good in here with those Doritos. Look at that, so quick. Toast this as much as you like. It's a preference. I like mine toasted just enough so they're not soft, but I don't like a ton of brown. The, with the toasting kind of stops a lot of the stuff from absorbing up into the bread. I hate mushy bread. Now Hubs, he barely wants his toasted, like in and out, that's all he wants. I like mine just a bit crispy. Yum, yum, yum. We got some exciting things coming up. I got about another six or seven episodes already working on them, testing them in the kitchen. We get some really good ones coming up. We also have some great movies coming up. There are lots of rain work going in to this season of Friday Night Frights. We are making plans. Yum, perfect. Look at those. Look at those little deliciousness. Yummy Doritos. I love it, I love it. Okay, so we will let those cool. Here, let me give you a good shove. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. So we're gonna let these cool down just a little bit before we try to eat them. I might try to take this little one. I can't stop myself. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. The cheese. Mm mmm. Those are perfect. Super delicious. I love them. That cheese is good. Their chips are nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Perfect little hit of salt. Okay, bread is almost toasted. We'll give it one more second. We're gonna put the sandwich together and then we're done. See how easy that was this week? I'm telling you, there's not gonna be a lot of big, long, elaborate one hour shows for this whole series. We're going nice and easy and slow. That's how it should be. Friday night, you want to get in front of that TV and watch all that fun horror, right? So let's get going. And as you see, this makes a lot of Doritos. So what you would do is just get these cooled. You can put them on a rack. You can put them on a paper towel. Get them right in your bowl, or your bowl, excuse me. And then you're just going to throw this whole second batch in the oven and do the exact same thing. Or again, if you have two baking sheets, by all means, you can do two baking sheets at once with no problem on this recipe. All right. This bread out, nice and toasted. This bread in, okay. All right, let's start assembling. That's all that's left, is putting this sucker together. What we're gonna do, got your two pieces of bread, you got your fried bologna, you got your lettuce, you got your sauce. Just a little spoonful of the sauce on both pieces of bread. Really kind of to taste, you can go a little less, a little more. Lots of strong flavors going on here with the pickles and the brown mustard. Then you're putting in that nice, spicy uh, arugula, if you're using it, or the nice buttery uh, butter lettuce or head lettuce. A nice crunchy romaine works too. Okay, so there's that. Now I go down with the lettuce, because the lettuce will stick to that sauce. Right, I'm gonna help keep your lettuce in your sandwich. Okay, and I like the lettuce. I like that crunch in the sandwich. Okay, and then we're gonna go half of this bologna. Nice, greasy, fried up bologna. And here's the thing, don't lay it flat. The reason when you go to a deli, your sandwich looks this ginormous, and then you take a bite of it and it's half the size. It's because they're not laying it all out perfectly flat. Bulk it up a little. Makes it more fun to bite into. It looks better. I don't know if it tastes any better, but, you know, just makes your sandwich look more delicious. All right, I'm going big boy with this one. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Basically, all you're going to do is flip the one side over onto the other side. Piece of lettuce in my mouth. Mm. Get oh, my towels over there. It's a greasy one. 
All right, take a knife, cut that bad boy in half. And there you go. That is your delicious fried bologna sandwich. Yum. Let's get that on a plate. Basically, gonna do it again for the second one. Got those two halves right there. Look at that. Delicious! Yum, yum, yum. My stomach's grumbling. Can you hear it? <laughs> Let's get some Doritos on that plate. And there you have it, y'all. See how quick that is? That's almost as quick as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? Even better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's it. That is your Doritos and fried bologna sandwich. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Eat up, feel like a kid again, because this one will do it for you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. There's your fried bologna sandwich with homemade Doritos. You did it all in under half an hour. Thank you guys so much again for joining me. I will see you next week in the kitchen. Enjoy that fried bologna sandwich and homemade Doritos. Thanks for joining me guys.